All right, we got time for about one more here. Uh, I'm going to do this one. What does the Bible say about a one-world religion? Does that mean that there will only that there will be Christians, Muslims, and Mormons all in the same church, or what does that mean? Well, um, in the book of Revelation, in uh, chapter 13, it talks about the beast, um, who uh, is also called the Antichrist. And he is a guy who comes along in the last days, and he sets up uh, a system of worship where he's the center of it. And um, the Bible in Revelation chapter 13 says... Um, that there is a situation where it looks like the beast is um, the subject of a of a uh, assassination attempt, and it says this in uh, th this is in really figurative language, but uh, I, and I don't have time to go through the whole thing, but uh, I'll just give you the gist of it. It says I saw one of the of its heads as if it had been mortally wounded, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world marvelled and followed the beast. So they worshipped the dragon who gave authority to the beast. And they worship the beast saying, who is like the beast, who is able to make war with him? And he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and he was given authority to continue for 42 months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle and those who dwell in heaven. And it was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given him over every tribe, tongue and nation. And all who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And so the last day's worship is focused on the beast specifically and on this man uh, who comes along and, and sets up this, this world kingdom. And so, yeah, that would include everybody. Um, obviously, there are people who are not worshiping him because it says that he was, it was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And so you still have believers on the planet who will not worship the beast. And, and that's fleshed out a little bit later in the chapter when it talks about uh, people taking the mark of the beast. And if you, you don't take it, then uh, the Bible later on talks about the fact that these people are put to death for that and, and that there are people who are martyred uh, for not worshiping the beast. And so it looks like what, what's, what happens is that um, many of these other religions besides Christianity um, morph and actually in some sects of Christianity it's going to be it's going to be like that too but it, they're morphed into more of a, a man focused religion and so you have uh, the Islamics who are looking for the Mahdi and this guy is going to be their Mahdi and you have uh, in Judaism uh, they're looking for the Messiah they've missed him uh, and uh, they don't realize that the Messiah is Jesus and um, I, I have full faith in the fact that um, there are going to be people who look at the Antichrist and think that he is the Messiah and uh, they're going they're going to be um, uh, uh, they're, they're going to get a good dose of reality and they're going to realize that he's not yeah. um, at, at a certain point in the tribulation but then you're going to have Christians who have uh, rejected Christ and and uh, you know don't don't you know, they've rejected the Bible, they've rejected the Word of God, and they're going to follow after this guy too. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a worldwide religion with a, you know, that comes together and, and puts all this stuff together in the form of the worship of a man. And uh, I really believe that this guy is going to be on the level of an X-Man. You know, you have the X-Men uh, uh, movies that, that talk about uh, mutations and next step in that, human evolution and, and that kind of stuff. And it looks like that's what go, what's um, going on with this guy. <laughs> he comes along and goes, "Hi, next step right here. And if you'll follow after me, then you'll you'll have some of the powers that I have and, and that kind of stuff. And um, you can see uh, people kind of being groomed into that kind of thinking. Yeah. And um, so I think that's probably what's going on there. It's a worship of men. It's the lie um, that Satan gave to Adam and Eve in the garden where he said, um, you, if you eat from this fruit, you'll become like gods, mm -hmm. knowing good and evil. It's the same lie. And so I imagine that he's going to come along and do exactly the same thing. You follow me, you'll become like gods. And uh, that's, what, that's what people would like. And uh, they don't know how to get there. So. All right, there you go. All right.